Hello, welcome back to another HW Big Productions video. Today I'm doing the LEGO Star Wars 2024 MIDI Scale Invisible Hand, and this is the only LEGO Invisible Hand set, and I'm happy they finally made one. Sadly, it isn't like you know, like full scale, but I'm so happy there's an Invisible Hand, and I think it's really good in MIDI Scale. So there's no mini figures with this, obviously, because it's a MIDI Scale set. So we start off with the base. So first we have the imprinted. Um, tile here which says lego star wars invisible hand then we have this gray tile here because you can take the brick off there um well wait. put that there if you want but i think it looks better with the um 25th anniversary um uh brick on it so that's enough close off the 25th anniversary yes so as um R2-D2, then 20 years of Lego Stars on the bottom of it, and that looks good. That's the base, it's all black at the bottom. Then the black stand going up here, which looks good. It's quite um, sturdy, so it's good. That's the bottom of it, yeah. And then, moving up to the invisible hand, you can take it off, I'll show you that after. So at the front, we have the very front here. We have the bridge, which represented by a green tile. We have all the incurves here, it's good. Sticker here and a sticker there. We have the um, Septus logo on both sides. Then we have all the detail and greebling here, which looks really good. We have this bottom bit here, which looks good as well. And then um, we have a more greebling up here, which all looks um, really good. And here it can split in half. I'll show you that at the end. We have all the um, more lights here. Then we have I think it's another bridge, I think. I don't know what that is, but it's something like that. Then here we have the um, hangar bay. And you can see there's an MTT there. An Anakin and Obi-Wan Jedi Interceptors just represented by studs. Yeah, it's all nicely saved at the back here on both sides. We have all the um, striping here. And we have the um, engines at the back. Here, which are which are the um, orange thrust. Then after that, I can't get in frame, but here we have the um, uh, like command center thing is at the top, which um, sounds like Palpatine was held in. We have more lights, more greebling, and it does look really um, uh, good. Yeah, and you can take the invisible hand off its stand. So to do that, oh, oh oops, the brick fell off. To do that, you just pull it off, and there it is. That does look really cool, in my opinion, yeah. And then um, you can um, split it in half, because in Revenge of the Sith, it does split in half, and that's the front which goes down, which we see, and then the back was just basically set on fire. Yeah, and then to put it back together, you just line up the clip, like that and to put it back on the stand you just put it back on the stand I do hope that next year for the 20th anniversary of Revenge of the Sith like it come out with a midi scale Venator to, to go with this I do really hope so I would say that is all of the Lego Star Wars 2024 midi scale invisible hands I hope you enjoyed this video please like if you enjoyed please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye